description, if you will, a form of baseball in which the baseball beeps and the bases buzz. Sound like any form of the nation's favorite pastime that you've ever seen? I didn't think so. But as a matter of fact, the athletes who play the game have never seen the sport either. They are all blind. But, and this is the incredible thing, they haven't let their handicap stand in the way of enjoying this sport to the fullest. It's the sport of beep baseball. Ready? Pitch. the pure action of baseball. The ball is pitched, the batters swing and hit and run to a base, and the ball is fielded sometimes. But in a way, there's more drama here than in any World Series game when one considers that none of these players can see the ball pitched or see the ball hit. None can see the ball fielded or see where they're running. these ball players overcome their handicap to enjoy a game that you and I take for granted is what makes this story so remarkable. It's all possible through their acute sense of hearing. This 16-inch softball contains a tiny transmitter. And these cone-shaped bases buzz to guide runners who can see no base path. While the sport of beat baseball did not begin in the Twin Cities, the rules by which the game is played today throughout much of the country did. And it's thanks, in no small part, to John Ross of the Braille Sports Foundation of Minneapolis. First, the first part of the game, I'll play the middle. Okay. John felt the original rules were for sissies, so he changed them, organized a league, made the game more exciting, more like the real thing. In just five years, his fledgling National Beat Baseball Association has grown from just five teams to more than a hundred. Team captains over here, please. John's team has won two straight world championships and hopes to cop a third when, this coming day, it travels to Wichita, Kansas for the World Series of Beat Baseball. So this game will be a tune-up. Tails it is. Uh, we'll bat first. You bat first? We're hot tonight, we'll bat first. Okay, you're hot. <laughs> okay, the only special rules we got is uh, third base is kind of quiet, uh, first base is normal sound. Any questions before we get going here? Nope, let's get her going. Good luck, John. Okay, send you guys. All right. Good luck. Good ball game, John. Yeah. And Gramps is up first. Go again, Gramps. In beat ball, only the pitcher and the catcher are sighted. When the ball is hit, the batter must run to either first or third base, whichever is buzzing. The pitcher lets the batter know the ball is coming. Most of the people who play beat baseball are not only interested in athletics, they are good athletes themselves, and there aren't really an awful lot of opportunities for blind people to uh, play or become involved actively in sport. Blind people are inside people who work together in such a way that uh, the handicap of blindness is forgotten. It's, uh, it's a tremendous thrill to go up and swing the bat with all your might and hit a pitch ball and know that you really hit it. A sighted person can relate to that, but a lot of blind people can't because they never had that experience. The person who controls which bases buzz is John's most loyal fan, his wife Kathy. I am exceptionally proud of him because of I know how much work he has put into it. Well, we got speed in this whole outfield, Gramps. And it isn't just for him. He wants everyone to have a chance to play beatball. John, two steps to your right. Sighted spotters are permitted to direct the five fielders into position, but once the ball is hit, they call out Gramps. only one name. Play ball. Fielding a ball is really a feeling of accomplishment because it's just you and the ball. Ready, pitch. Now, as you 
can see, fielding in beat baseball calls for a lot of body English and a little bit of luck, too. That also holds true for hitting, as I discovered. Blindfold on. Right. And listen to the pitcher. <clears throat> Listen to his cadence when he says ready. He's about ready to throw the ball when he says pitch. That means it's been released. He's throwing it. He's throwing it at that point. As he says pitch, he's letting go of it. Pitch. Hitting blindfolded is as hard as it looks. It took me five swats to finally hit one. Hang him off. While I never tried running blindfolded, I came away with a better appreciation for just what beat baseball means to those who play it, like to Dennis Huberty. It's probably the uh, most enjoyable game I've done as a blind person, the most physical game there is for a blind person right now, and a very competitive game. Or what it means to Gramps. 47-year-old Jim Quinn. I've played a lot of ball in my life, and to be able to continue this as a blind person, it's just simply great. And finally, to John Ross, who more than anyone else has helped foster this fledgling sport into a national game, beat baseball is the realization of a dream. I'm 43 years old, and I, I feel like I'm an 18-year-old kid every time I play this game. So it's, it's an accomplishment, it's fun. We know that we're helping a lot of other people get introduced to an activity that's going to really help their lives out as well. So it's a, you know, a multi-feeling of accomplishment.